Okay, we're back out with the table saw. I've got the little brackets installed with the screws on both of them. And they're adjusted. I have a bird wing that I make here. Uh, these are just cut out of two by fours. I'm shooting for about 193, 0.193 on the thickness here. You can see that's pretty thin. Much thinner than that and they split or warp. So I also make for my airplanes, you can see like the uh, Dash 8 up there with the four, four bladed prop. And here's the B25 with the three bladed prop. I slice these, so I try to get 193. I usually end up having to go over size and then sand them down to shape. Generally, the slots measure 188 is 3 16 Actually, 1875 is 3 16 So you see that 188? By the way, this Easy Cal digital caliper, I bought this off a recommendation from another YouTuber. And you know, there's a lot of really cheap digital calipers out there. Harbor Freight, maybe, I don't know, $19.99. I got one of those and it, you know, it's iffy. This one, it has millimeters, inches and feet, and thousandths. And it's worked, I've had it a couple of months now, it works great. Comes in a plastic case, I ordered it off the internet. So I'll, I'll put a link to this. It also has, it even has a scale of uh, conversions. So anyway, we're shooting for 3 .187. I made I made a bird wing hub, and one of them, one of the slots here is, a, I filed it to exactly 187. And then I have the other one at, 190, at 193. So I can test these blades as they come off the table saw to get an idea if I'm getting in the proper thickness. Because, you know, if they're too thin, they're just going to drop out. And if they're too thick, they're going to split. When you push it into the hub, it's going to split the wood. That's what you want, that nice snug fit. So you put the glue on there and it holds tightly while the glue dries. And you have a good mechanical bond. So this is what I cut out of a standard 2x4 and I'll tell you what 2x4s are all over the map I mean this one you can even see it's tapered it, it's just they're a mess when I go to the Lowe's usually I go to Lowe's to pick them up because it's close and the, by the way these are like anywhere from uh, 8 8 something to 10 10 dollars and 50 cents or something 59 for a 8 foot 2x4 right now they don't say what what wood they're in they're generally pine or fir. I sort through them. I'll pick through 10 or 15 because they sell some stuff, you know, in the big stack that they have there in the store. They're cracked and full of knots. So I sort through them to get ones that aren't full of knots and cracks and checks. This is the wind turbine. That's a three blade hub. And when I put two of these red 40 teeth saw blades together with two pieces of saltine box cardboard between them, I get a 3 16 slot. That's a three blade hub. I'm looking for 3 16 When I tear this set up down and do other cuts, I want to be able to put it right back up and accurately dial in the right thickness and I have it with these screws so I can do that. So we're going to try one. I can turn this a little bit and get a very fine adjustment. I had the, the video earlier where I made these little blocks. The proof is in the pudding. This is my little test standard for my bird wings. So right after I cut them, I'll see if they're going to fit in the, uh, the 192 or the 187, the 3 16 Anything up to 193, I would say, is acceptable because that's a nice... 193 will can be fit into the 187 with a little sanding. And it's nice and tight. So uh, an already cut blade will get you near the thickness that you want to be. Remember that the the tooth of the blade, not the not the face of the blade, the tooth is what the, does the cutting, and the, the tooth is proud of the face. So the tooth is going to do the cutting. That's where you have to measure to when you're setting your thickness. Very close. So also, you want to check that the blade is parallel to your rip fence. If they're not exactly parallel, you're going to, it's going to be thicker on one side than the other. You can eyeball that. I'm going to do a test cut, and then we'll see 
if the blades fit. It would be really nice if you could just stick them in here right after coming out of the table saw, but you're gonna have you're gonna have cut rings, you know, from the saw blade and it's gonna be rough. Preference if you're doing this is to go a little bit over so you have room to use the sander then to uh, smooth off the blade and bring it down to the exact thickness that you need. All right, let's give it a try. The first thing I'm going to do is test it in the in the block. So it's not quite. Uh, it's a little bigger than 193. So let's see what the calipers say. It's measuring 222, 221, something like that. Way too big. That's uh, 28 thousandths too big. So I have to turn this in to turn my little dials in here. All right, I just clamped this so that this can move and I can read this caliper to bring it in just a few thousandths, in this case uh, 26,000. Now I'll test it. I have a blade that's already measured 193 and 187, so it looks pretty good. Now I can take the one I just cut and I'm going to just test the end of it. It's too small to run all the way through, but I'll just test the end of it and see if it takes where it takes it, see if it takes it to 193. Look at that. That's Let's see what that looks like on the the old tester. You know, it goes right in the uh, 316 slot. Almost too easy. If that was a blade, I'd be right on the edge of being too thin. So there's the 193. So it's it's a hair too too thin. So this is where these screws are going to come in really handy. Again, this is kind of overkill, these calipers. You can just do it. If you have some scrap wood, you just keep trying until, and usually with two or three tries, you can get it. It looks a little bigger than 193, but let's run a test. I think I'll use the other half of this, the fat side of this. That new setting. Ooh, really close. Oh, I opened it up too much. That's 212. So, loosening the handle here. One half a turn back in. Tighten it down. So let's try that. This is the fat side. Alright. So now we're only we're only seven thousandths away. It fits. It slides in the 193 pretty tight. So it's really tight on the 187. Snug on the 19, even on the 193. So I think that's a good setting. It allows me a little bit of sanding lee room so I can smooth out the ring marks from the table saw blade. So I'm going to run off another one now. Look at that. That's great. That I'm happy with. So it's it's tight on the 193. It's snug. And then on the 187 it's really tight. So that'll give me room to uh, 
like sand it smooth over here on the sander. That's the 3 16th. That's a nice smooth blade and it's nice and snug. Perfect for gluing. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. <laughs>